It is a first of its kind for the federal government. Today, President Biden announcing a new office designed to reduce gun violence nationwide. That office will also provide support for communities impacted by senseless shootings. And Jewel Hillary is joining us in the studio with more on this tonight. Jewel. Hi, you all. The new department is called the Office of Gun Violence Prevention. And when the president made his remarks earlier today, there were a number of local leaders in attendance. The statistics are heartbreaking. Across our nation, every day about 120 Americans are killed by a gun. In an effort to save lives, President Biden announced a first of its kind federal office dedicated to creating solutions and supporting communities torn apart by senseless shootings. I'm proud to announce the creation of the first ever White House Office of Gun Violence Prevention, the first office in our history. Mayor Brandon Johnson and Cook County President Tony Preckwinkle were among the crowd in the Rose Garden learning about the new office which Vice President Kamala Harris will oversee. The new department comes a little more than a year after President Biden signed the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act. According to an Associated Press poll, Republican support for gun restrictions is declining since the law passed. See, the president understands that this issue, especially for young people, especially for marginalized communities, is a matter of survival. The Illinois Rifle Association calls the new federal office a declaration of war against the Second Amendment, further stating, while anti-gun activists are celebrating today, the ISRA will not back down and we will continue our fight to protect the right to bear arms for all law-abiding citizens, not just in Illinois, but across the country. In April 2006, Terrell Bosley was shot and killed in Chicago while helping a friend take drums into a church. Naturally, his younger brother, Trevon, got involved in the movement to ignite change. Today, the March for Our Lives leader, who also works with St. Sabina's brave youth leaders, was among the crowd to hear the president's remarks. To finally see some type of uh, fruits of our labor, um, it's some just so beautiful to see. According to the Associated Press, firearms are the number one killer of children in the U.S. And so far this year, more than 200 children younger than 11 have died by guns, and more than 1,000 between the ages of 12 and 17 have died. For young people like Trevon, who know the heartbreak firsthand, the new office is a step towards making a difference at home. It, it makes me feel hopeful um, that we're doing things in, in, in the right way and in the right direction. The Office of Gun Violence Prevention is limited in what it can do. In order to tighten restrictions or pass a ban on assault weapons, as Biden repeatedly called for, Congress would need to pass legislation. Mike and Ray, right. back to you. Jewel, thank you.